We have taken seven children on a survival experience to really showcase what they can do. We will be teaching them the key elements of survival and then really putting them to the test. Their challenge will be to survive for three days and two nights alone. It will be tough, it will be challenging, but through teamwork and persistence, we believe they can survive and thrive. This is YMCA Into the Woods. Hi guys, I'm Harry from YMCA Somerset Coast. Here we are at our amazing site, Barley Wood. We're about to embark on a brand new project for us that we're all really excited about. We've teamed up with local expedition specialist, Ben Peters from MFAST, who's gonna help us with this project. So Ben, why don't you get in there and tell them all about it? Okay, so this is a really exciting project. Over the next three days, the kids are really gonna be pushed and challenged. Uh, day one, it's really gonna be quite cool. So me and Harry are gonna take them up into the woods. We're gonna do loads of training with them. We're gonna teach them all the key elements that they need to learn to survive and then they're on their own. So day one, they're gonna be building their traps, getting their fire sorted. Me and Harry are come up giving them an evening meal. Next day, we're gonna concentrate on traps and we've got loads of things planned for them for the next three days. So hopefully it should be really, really good fun. Hi, my name's Alexa and I'm nine years old and I go to St Anne Primary School and I'm in year four and I love gymnastics and surviving. Hi, I'm Archie. I'm from Mixon Primary School. I'm 10 years old and I love gymnastics. You, you go first. You go first. Hi, I'm Ollie and I'm 10 and I absolutely love rugby and we go to Hayward Prep School. I'm Freddie. I'm 10 I go to Hayward Prep as well and I like rugby as well. Hello, my name's Owen. I'm nine and I go to Rinkton Primary School. I'm Hayley, I'm 10 and I go to Rinkton Primary School. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm always in the group and I'm the embedded camera guy. Uh, and I go to the YNCA's Friday group and it's really fun there. Well, welcome to Barley Wood and welcome to the start of YMCA Into the Woods. Me and Harry are going to teach you all the survival tips and techniques that you need to survive for the next three days. And then it's all up to you, okay guys? You're going to be tired, it's going to get tough. As long as you keep that team mentality and work together, you'll succeed and do fine, all right? Right guys, so we're up here now and it's really, really important that we're gonna learn about how to build shelters. We need to make sure that our shelter is nicely protecting us away from the wind and the rain as much as possible. We need to start building that team up now. So you all need to start getting to know each other, how each other works, and then build a nice shelter that's big enough for all of you to go into. Right, so guys, if we tie two sticks together like this, two big logs, we put them like that, and then we get a bigger one again, and we put that, that makes a nice frame, doesn't it? A nice big frame. So do you think we can do that? Yeah, and then if we get lots of little sticks and logs and stuff, we can lie them all like that and make like a triangle tent. The other way we could do it, guys, is we could find a nice log, a nice big upright tree that has a bend in it, and then we can just put, stack lots of sticks kind of all the way around like this and start building up a shelter. So we get lots of long ones, put it all the way around, make a nice big canopy, and then we can cover that whole canopy in leaves and branches and all the things that's gonna keep the wind and the rain out, okay? 
and now you guys need to work together as a team and me and Harry are here to help but you need to work together as a team and decide where you're going to build your shelves. Imagine guys, if this is when we're actually up here surviving, we haven't got that long to build our shelter. Because if we start using light and we start losing all of our kind of day, um, we need to get this done nice and fast, so we need to work together as a team. So let's clear the area, get everything ready to go, and then we'll find some nice big long stuff. All of you please of our den? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just built our shelter. What's the next thing we need to do after we're building showers? Make a fire. We need to think about getting fires, all right? And food. Fires and food. So the first one is, we've still got all our rations on us, so we're gonna do fire, all right? So we need to look for all our firewood and a nice surround for our fire to keep it contained and safe. So guys, we've done our shower building, we've done fires. If we imagine now it's day two, all our rations have run out, we've Traps. finished all our food. What's next? What do we, if we run Traps. out of food, Traps. what do we need to do? Traps. 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 To get traps. We need to like catch an animal. We're gonna demo some traps now and show you how to build some big traps, catch some really big animals and some really small animals. So on our small traps, you can catch small. mice, squirrels, rats. So small ones. If you wood feel lights. bigger, more wood complex, deer. Yeah, you, you have to catch loads of wood lice. Deer. <laughs> deer, pigs. What do animals have that is much better than ours? Eyesight, smell. Eyesight and smell. Ears. Smell, all right? Seven. And ears. So what's really important is our traps are pretty quick and easy to set up and build. If we spend an hour building a trap, the animal's gonna walk along, see the food, smell us, and leave, and we're not gonna catch the animal, right? So we'll wait for the traps to be set up, and then we'll go show you guys how to build them.
I really enjoyed it today and I love coming here. And um, what's your favourite bit? My favourite bit was building the den. Mm, probably the same. I've loved the shelter building, awesome, everything. I learned some things I didn't know, like um, how to make an A shelter and um, how to light a fire. What did you like most about, did you like cooking the marshmallows or eating the marshmallows? Yeah. I quite like cooking the marshmallows. So what have you liked today? Well, I liked when we built the shelters and we were learning about the traps. How about you? Uh, yeah, I liked, um, I liked building the fire. I'm going to go and cook my marshmallow. If you want to build one massive shelter, that's absolutely fine. You build one massive shelter. If you want to build lots of separate ones, that's fine. It's your decision, okay? But you need to work together as a team. You need water, you need your lunch, you need survival items, stuff like that, string. Make sure every you know who's got what, okay? So in the next 10 minutes, guys, get in a big circle, get your kit, and let's get it sorted. Fishing one, so not I'd normally use them. Yeah. Hey, you know what group is we're in, so. Yeah, let's, should we just go over it once more? Yes. So it's you three girls, you two, and me, Fred. Okay, I'm still going to do an A frame. Right. What are you two going to do? That Tree thing? Yeah, okay. Are we doing A frame or the tree thing? Tree thing. I reckon you'd be best for the A frame because yeah. it's big enough. Yeah. The tree friend. thing will yeah. fit one of you. Yeah, let's just do A frame. We're just going to do a smaller A frame. A -frame. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded like having two I big logs, which is like get one of those sticks with a wire at the top. I can't remember. You're doing a tree frame or the A frame? Tree frame. Tree frame. And we're doing A frame, yeah? Okay. Pots. We are not having cutted it yet. Tell me when it's off. You need to stop it. No, no, stop. Archie, look at the camera. I've zoomed in like very fast. I mean. <laughs> okay, guys, over the next few days, it's going to be really, really hard. You need to work as a team. The only way you're going to get through this and survive is by working together. It is crucial that you do that. And if you can get a shelter by the end of the day and you can get a fire going by the end of the day, we will come up and you'll get your evening meal. You all got to work as a team. If your shower's done for everyone else, always can help other people if we're ready. All right, guys, let's go. Slippery up here. Yeah, Very slippery. Right. Oh, that's a badger hole. That is cool. Yeah. Woo, good teamwork. Woo. Do I see any holes? But here. Maybe we 
we should get to a flat surface, not here. I'm not sleeping here. And no, I'm not being sarcastic. <sighs> Because there's a tree there and there's a tree there. Mm. And that's massive. Yeah. yeah. Should we go yeah. some like over there? Yeah. 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 That, that, that place. Here. Here. Yeah, but there's no logs or twigs anywhere. Guys, we found the road. We come here. Come over here, guys. This is a bummer. Yeah. Do a big A I think we No, let's just make, make two and just have them next to each other. So yeah. maybe we can still talk. We can... Just put a door in between, maybe. So are we going to build ours here? Yeah, here. It's a good place. And we've got a massive shelter. Should massive... we do like an A-frame? Yeah, we might as well. Oh, yeah, but here's really wet, though. Here's where really it's wet. We've bagged in this area. We've bagged in this area. Before. I wanted to do it with girls because, like, oh, what, if, not, what if yeah, boys, what if that. boys, like, didn't wear pants in the bed? Please. What's your name? My name is Hayley. My name is Charlie. Alexa. So the guys have made their way up here now. They've found uh, a really good flat spot. It's good canopy cover. But where they've decided to build their shelters is quite far away from one of the materials that they need to actually build them. So it's going to take a lot of teamwork to kind of bring them together, move all those materials from one place to another. But let's see how they get on. Wait, are we going to do it against that tree? That tree or that tree? I think that Probably... tree is one of them. And maybe that yeah, because that tree looks like big and looks like it could hold it. But and that tree? This one looks like it can hold it because it's got like stuff for it to lean on. You can, oh, we can make a table. Yeah. Should we drag some logs back like down here? Yeah, because there's there. a load of logs there. Yeah. Let's go and get the rope. So let's go get the rope. We, should, we could probably drag some logs like down yeah. here and put them against a the tree. But it smells quite garlicky out here. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Guys, remember we got mine and Fred's pen knife. And just, Wait, you, just in case you find a fish. This is my fishing one, so it's got fish scales on and everything. Why would we find fish in the woods? Guys! Guys! No, because they've already got their rope. They've already got their No, we rope. haven't got... We don't need rope. We've already got some rope. Okay, so don't drop it up then. Because I've got rope in my bag. Oh, if you've got it, if you've got it, we'll keep it. But here. If you need it, hey, you can have it. Hey, wait, that's, that's, that's a fish to scale of fish. We're going to be far away from all the boys and that's going to be good. Yeah. So the guys have just managed to find some rope in the woods. Um, it's a really good idea to keep it with them. They never know when they're going to need it. Yes, some of them have got string with their survival items, but in the wild when you're surviving, you need to take everything you can use. Guys, we need to start building our shelter. Ugh. OK, guys, let's all gather around and think about where we can build it. Because uh, we're, bu we're building our own shelter, so it's close. Think we should build one together, though. OK, guys, let's go. Guys, I'll blow a whistle. My one's really good. Shame. I've got one just like that on this rat sack. And, oh yeah, I've got two. Look, I've got three whistles with me. I've got three, look, I've got one here. I've got three. Let's go up here. You can start dragging them back down. Wait, the whistle, where did that whistle come from? Him. Stop whistling Stop it. Whistling. Someone will want to come back. Yes, yeah, someone might think you're hurt. Oh. Look, there's even more. Hayley, slow down. <laughs> at the end of the Yeah, gosh, should we just build a big one together? Let's build one at the end. Yeah, build it like, right there. Here. Right here. Because then you've got a bit of shelter there and there. Here. Yeah. Right here, guys. I reckon... No, I reckon... Yeah. Here because look. if you go closer to the trees, it's not as muddy. And you won't get as much rain on you. Now, about here, guys. Look, it's pretty flat. Here. Here? OK. We made a decision of here. OK, yeah, guys, let's put down our bag. Go, go and get some. Stuff. OK. Oh, that feels so light. My shoulders have just gone up. Oh. That's the size we need to make the actual shoulder first. 
first. Should we decide which one, which tree we're doing it on? Right, we do so not on this those one. Those two trees. I had no. I don't mind where I sleep. Yeah, because we're not gonna. I doubt I'm gonna sleep anyway. Yes. Yeah, same. I'll, I'll be scared. <laughs> What's our team name? Charlie. No. <laughs> What's that noise? There's already some interesting dynamics going on. We've got the boys kind of split up over there, all the girls over there. They've spent quite a bit of time walking around the woods looking where they're going to go. Uh, let's see if they settle where they are now, a reuniting group together, which will be much easier when they build a fire later on. It'll keep them both their dens warm. So let's see what happens. That's a bit wet. Guys, are you building an A-frame, yeah? Yeah. That's not quite thick enough. The A, but... Yeah, that's good. No, I think it needs to be a bit wider, probably. No, no I like that. Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Skates. We don't have anything now, and the boys have already. Stopped. Did I just hit, did I just see a wolf? Oh my god, guys! Wait, stop. No, a wolf just landed on my head, didn't it? No. They've already started. They've already started. Guys, come on! We actually need to start building it. I don't know. We want to do it somewhere where there's a lot of logs, but we want to do it somewhere where it's dry and no wasps. No, because usually there's a saying: if it's wet, there's usually wasps there. That's not it. Yeah, I've never heard that saying. But if it's dry, it wouldn't. Just send them the pictures and get out of this one. Is that good? Yeah. No, you, you cross them the other way. You might have to dig a little bit into the ground. Yeah. Well, guys, listen. If you see a hole, say there's a hole and we'll move because I know what's going on. Well, if I saw a boss, I would drop my bag and run. Stop. We're building an A-frame, guys. Yes. Okay, ready? Pull it. Oh my god, that's mm. logs on it. Because the boys are actually beating us. Well, this is and exactly I'm not going to tell you. Wolves like boys more than girls. No, they don't. What? Wolves won't know if there's a boy or if it's a boy or a girl. They're not that smart. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Let's have this lunch. Is okay. Guys, guys, yeah. having lunch. We kind of can't stop now. We've got lunch. Alright, guys. Yeah. Yeah. What you guys been up to? Uh, yeah, building our showers. Doing your showers. So I see one of your showers, the frame's up, that looks good. But we need to up the pace a little bit because if we start getting dark, we haven't we aren't collected any firewood yet. Our showers are not finished yet. You seem to have picked a good spot with quite a nice big canopy over you. It's really high for the fire. Right, guys, we're going to leave you to it. Have your lunch, OK? Finish your lunch. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. And then we'll come back later and see how you're getting on, all right? Right? Well done, guys. I'm doing a little diary entry. I'm eating my lunch right now, mm -hmm. so in a minute we'll be um, doing our shelters. We're going to do boys and girls shelters. So this is for boys' den so far. And it's been really fun. I've been excited for this. Today's been the best. Today we've been building shelters for our survival for three days, two nights. And the boys have built their own shelter and the girls are going to build one next to ours. I was nervous at the start, but now I've 
I'm not nervous anymore. And we're gonna do an A-frame like the boys, but we haven't quite got anything done yet. We're not too far away from the boys because we're staying there for a couple of nights. At the moment, we've been building our A-frame, the boys, but we haven't finished yet, and we're we're gonna hopefully do a really good one. <laughs> On what the heck was that? Charlie? Huh? Charlie? Oh my god. Right, okay, so where's the we've got enough? And we're gonna cut it. Wait, you cut it. Need some lot. Try and get some logs with some brats. This looks great. Yeah, but we also need some of some leaves on. Put a funny face. Put a funny face. What do you call lightning? Thunder. Shocking. What do you get if you put a hungry cat and a canary? I do not know that one. A cat that's not hungry anymore. If you can't remember, now we're building it to get in six to cover our shelter and so we don't get wet in the middle of the night. Where are the others? Um, I'm not allowed to tell you. Why? They've gone to get some really good sticks. Guys, maybe like two of us could go down there to find some good sticks. Yeah. This is a... Uh, shelter so far. <laughs> what did the cheese say to the mirror? You look cheesy today. No, hello me. Oh. What did the sausage say when he saw a talking sausage? You look big. There's no such thing as a talking sausage. I've got a good one. See you back in a sec. Because today it's gonna be a good movie. Today, today it's gonna be. Style. Guys, we need to get a new one if we want to finish this. We gotta make a fire as well. That's the ghost show, sir. Right, over where the goes are, obviously. <laughs> and as well, the boys are going to be. It's really exciting doing this stuff. You need any help? Whew. I have spent eight. Oh, just trying to connected. get this run off. There we go. So again, our den has improved rather quite a lot. This is taking a very, very long time. I reckon we could build it faster. It'd be done ages ago if we were all working together. The girls are improving. Our den's quite close to being done. If, see if we can fit all of us in it and everything. It's quite nice. I reckon they can fit all of us in. The dinosaur's rib. This is the girls' thing so far. It's going well. Um, we took. I shout it down because it was unstable. Now it's going into an A-frame. Yes. The boy's going to help us. We are going to do it here because it's nice and stable and there's a Y. It's blurry. Oh, Wait. It's, it's okay. That's nice. Shout it down. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay. Look at this gigantic stick. Guys, spread these around. It's full of mini fire keeping. It could rain in the night, so I would do not want to be sleeping here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill that up. Freddy's already arranging where he's sleeping. That was going to be theirs. Guys, I think I got a tarp. Owen! No! Really, no. Owen? We just done all that. We just done all this. <laughs> Charlie, say hello. Oh, hi. Owen, what, 
Uh, where have you gone? <laughs> this is a bit big. Over here. View of the tar going over us. We were a little bit annoyed, but we did all this and we found out that Owen had a tar poling in his bag. Oh, yes, it's working now. Yeah. Woo go down as far as you can go, please. We all need to fit in. Oh my god, I'm going to go across that You can put your feet down there as well. Your Stop. head can be sticking out the door. Right there. It doesn't matter. We can build a mini wall, people, okay? Right, Owen. The wall of China. Get into your boy Ooh. thing. Oh, get into your boy section. Okay. Ah, uh, not on top of me. Actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is our day. We've got the tarpaul in our wood. Yeah, you could have told us you that happy? earlier. Why are you happy? You should have just told us earlier. You should have told us right, right at the start. We could have just had the base and just literally just put it over. We should tell ghost stories. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, we built the cover of our den, as you can see. And Owen had tarpaulin. So the guys at the start of the survival project were allowed to bring one survival item each. It's quite clear because they didn't actually sit down and plan out exactly what they were going to do and look at their kit and equipment that they forgot Owen had a tarpaulin. Um, so they've actually spent a lot of time building their shelter, getting the foliage on it, making it as waterproof as they can. But the tarpaulin's up over the top now, so it's all nice and waterproof. Um, so let's see what they do for the rest of the day. That looks a lot worse now. A giant we were building a new either A frame or a tree frame because um, Archie and Owen they didn't fit in there. So, so about two or three people go. Okay, in. so Who? bye. Bye. Say, smile for the camera. Stop, it's gone blurry. <laughs> no, he taught me to do. He taught me to go zoom right the way in and then zoom all the way out again. Time yet, but I'm extremely exhausted. And we haven't even had tea yet, so we've still got hours to and hours to go. This is our shelter. It's fitting two of us in it, and it's going to be me, Owen, and Archie. <laughs> this is the shelter that we built. What the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Stop! Whoa. No, we were getting number ones, number two, no, number threes, number ones and number twos. So then we can build our campfire, then we're going to eat some food. I think jacket potatoes cheese and beans yum along with some and um, we're gonna be also having some hot chocolate also yum then we're gonna head off to bed that one there because that one's longer what? ready right can you do it one more time you just gotta see it yeah. right now i'm going to get a stool a stool for me me and then Hayley, we've, we, we've only known each other for like a couple of hours and already we're like really, really good friends. We became really good friends by um, building a shower, shower together. I just carved out this awesome chair out of a tree log. Who's starting? It's very good. Right, you strike. No, no, you, I'm when that sets on fire. No, you need to be on this side. No, it's gonna go out. 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 No, it's gone out. It's gone out. No, no, you just blew it out! Right, okay, that didn't work. I can't do it now, wait. So I have a go then. I find it really easy if you want me to have a go. Now okay. we've just set another fire, we don't know if this is going to work yeah. or not, but we're just going to try and see. Hey! No, guys, that one! That one's still alive! You just... You just chuck like, five on. There, that's what. Right. Okay, we've got it going now. We've got two here. Going? No, 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 we need more number ones. Big. Where's our number one? Archie, was this hard? Yeah, it was really yeah. hard at the start. Obviously, you were there. Like, like, guys, the hardest like bit here. Yeah. I think we're gonna need. Guys, to... this is going got really well. Um, Try and move back so just in case your head's over it. It could pop up any time. Yeah. Okay, so Respect position. We need. 
Just try and leave it now, guys. Try and let the, all the sticks guys, set light. Yay! Um, Owen made it get going, that's how we got this fire now. Archie lit the candle one. But this took us, because it was our first time without any helpers, this took Actually, us forever. I've been lighting loads at home in the chimney. Found some sticks. Okay, guys, Archie, Archie. hours up. How are you going? Well, good. Well, really yeah. good. Really good. Now, I can see you got your fire going. So, what's this fire going to give us? Heat. Heat. And food. food. And food. definitely food. food. Is there anything else we can do with it? Marshmallows. Uh, Marshmallows. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. We can purify water. Purify water. water. So there's lots of things that fire gives us, doesn't it? So it's a way that we can cook our food so it's nice and safe. We can boil our water so it's nice and safe. It's going to give us warmth. This also makes a really good wood. Nice. It makes a great TV, doesn't it? So that's all your tasks complete for today. So the next thing we're going to do is do the food, okay? So let's get keep this fire going. So let's go get some firewood. Keep a couple of people watching the fire. So we want to go to bed. I woke up at six. I woke up at seven o two. I woke up at five. I woke up at half eight. Okay, well, today uh, I built an A frame and it failed. <laughs> and we asked the boys if we could sleep in theirs. And then we also built a campfire so then we could cook our jack and potatoes on them. And we're just waiting for the jack and potatoes. I've had a really good day today. We, there was good teamwork in the end because we started off with with the girls making a den and the boys making a den um, but it didn't quite work out that way because we all went and ended up sleeping in one den except for two boys because we didn't all fit two of the boys got their own little den that they're sleeping in and we got a fire going it took forever but yeah the boys completed a shelter but the girls didn't so we went in with the boys but not everybody fitted in so we had to let um two boys said they were going like a den over there i've liked this day so far and i hope it carries on this way i'm in a shelter with archie and at the moment we we just got some free time whilst the jack potatoes are cooking today um been good because Right now we've started a fire and I've never built a fire before. It's been really good and I really enjoyed the fire. The fire and the den making. And yeah. Well, today I like doing, building the tent, the, the, the thing that we're gonna sleep in. Cause it was the A-frame and A-frame is my favorite one to do. And the fire was quite, good because we had to like bring the logs and it was quite hard because of not all of the logs were green wood so it's quite hard to find all of them. Okay guys you've done really really well today obviously we're sat around eating our evening meal now so that means we completed our task so we've got our shelters built they look really really good and we got our fire going so we were able to cook our food. And so you've done an absolutely fantastic job today. I think at the start it took a little bit of time to get going, but I think together you worked well as a team and you've pulled it in and um, look what you've achieved. You've achieved a lot today. So really, really good start. You're walking around talking, all of you talking together about where you're gonna build your dens, looking at all the good points and the bad points. You then set up built in two dens, one of them didn't quite work. So you worked really well as a team and said, actually, let's build another slightly smaller one. And then a couple more people can fit in ours. So that's really good teamwork. Even when things didn't go quite to plan, you still stuck together, worked a really good team, got your own fire going, we've cooked your dinner on it. Really, really good teamwork on day one. Uh, soon it's gonna start getting dark. So we're gonna have to start organizing the camp, getting everything sorted, start getting into our bib bag, start getting comfortable, making sure that we each know where everyone is and everyone's comfortable and we know where all of our kit and equipment. In the morning, uh, we'll have breakfast and then we'll have another task for you guys and then we'll see how we get on, all right?
Yeah. 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 Day one is over, they've completed their shelters and they've just finished off dinner. A couple of the guys seem really apprehensive about sleeping outside with no tent or cover. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on them and see what happens. Outside, one of them, Charlie, is not really used to. She hasn't slept outside before, completely away from home camping, um, and to do something like this is your first time out in the wild is very different. So she wanted to go home. We sat and spoke to her and said she can go home. We can go sleep inside, or we can bring a tent out. She decided that she wanted to stay with all the group and get in a tent outside, which not only shows massive bravery, which we're very proud of, but also. What, even after a day, what a tight team has become. She decided that she's so tight and bonded with them that that's enough of a comfort for her and security. So it's now half time. Let's see what happens in the morning. Good morning. It was really hard to get to sleep because it was still like quite late. And then when we finally got to sleep, we. I woke up quite late. It's hard to get to sleep because I haven't slept on the in a sleeping bag before. So close. Yes. yes. So we've got it on fire. How was night one? Good. Yeah? Couple of all right. Did you all sleep well? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. Excellent. Well, well done for your first night. I think everyone done really well. Um, good job at getting the firewood this morning and getting the fire going. That's absolutely brilliant. That's exactly what we need in the morning, don't we, to warm back up. Me and Harry are going to get you some breakfast. Um, and then you can um, kind of chill out for a little bit. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Yeah, well done, guys. Really impressed. Imagine a world we're living free, soaking in the sun, swimming in seas. How's our rations looking? Have we got much food left? Or is it all gone? Gone. All gone. So we've got a good fire going, we can build our traps, and then we build some good traps, we're going to have dinner. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. So guys, we need to talk about a team, don't we? We need to figure out what we're going to do. We need to cite some locations where we can make some traps. We'll leave you, we'll come back in an hour and we'll see how you're getting on, okay? So now we're gonna talk about our traps and how we're gonna make our traps. We just made our fire for our food and... I think we should do the one where basically you get a really bendy tree and you bend it. We don't want it too near the base like what Charlie pointed out, but we want it a little bit further away. I think we need to go further away. Let's see the bendy tree one. Yeah, guys, we've got a bendy tree. We've got one right here. It'll be perfect. That's where... So that's where we're going to um, use our... Um, do our trap and we're just giving some string away a moment and then we'll be on our trap ready and then We 
I think I remember what you did with this one. I've done it now. You do a normal, you start a shoelace one. And then you... Yeah. 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 Okay, so as you can see now, we have attached a piece of string to the tree, which will be the start of our trap. Now what we've got to go and do is, we've got to go and find the new stick. For a good example, we've got one just here. And then what we'll do is, it'll bend, stick it in the ground, then we'll get another stick. And then the little stick will be attached to the end of this. Then we're also going to have like um, the circle of the end, which the, um, the animal's foot will go inside, and this will just release up. Head. And the little bit will trap in here, and then we'll have another stick going across. So we are actually rather quite close to finishing, really. Either way, I want my dinner, so we're going to have to complete this task. Let's go and have a look at your truck then. Let's see if it would work. OK, really cool. So we've got a U-shaped truck. So let's get it set up then. So if the animal was to come in here and then step on this trigger, yeah, definitely that would have worked, wouldn't it? So well done guys, I think you've built a really, really good trap here, nice and solid, okay? So if we were to put lots of these out in lots of different places, we would maximise the chances, wouldn't we? Are they quite simple to make? Yeah. yeah. They're quite simple to make. Do you think we could make lots of these really, really quickly? Yeah. So I think it's a really good trap then, isn't it? Right, so well done, that was your task done for the day. Okay, so really, really good job. Let's get back to camp and let's get some food, okay? Well done guys. Enjoy your dinner? Yeah. yeah. What are you having? Black bowl. Black bowl, that sounds amazing. So, really well done today. I think you've done really, really well. Camp's looking really good. I think you've definitely like kind of progressed and, and the camp's looking a lot stronger. Your structures are looking a lot bigger and a lot more firm and a lot more padded out, so that's really good. Well, trap building, how do you think it went? Good. Yeah, really, really good. We had a really good trap, haven't we? So we would have to put lots and lots of them out, but we weren't going to be catching animals, were we? So it was a task to earn our food, and I think you worked together, and you've done a brilliant job, and that trap definitely would have caught something. You're all going out and do tasks with helping the people. Like Ben said, some are doing different traps in different areas, because that's going to help you, because you're going to get traps up quicker. The teamwork today has been awesome, same with yesterday. You've been a really, really good team, which is amazing, considering... Only yesterday, some of you guys didn't really know each other at all. So the last thing we've got to do today, guys, is we need to tidy up camp. We need to make everything waterproof, everything that is in our shelters, so nothing can get wet or damaged. Um, because we might be looking at some rain tonight, so we need to make sure everything's super packed away. And then the light's going to be fading soon, so we need to like start thinking about getting down, getting to sleep, and um, getting all snuggled up together because it's going to be quite cold when it starts raining. All right, you got from now to when it's dark to get your shelters ready, make sure none of your kit can get wet in the rain. All right, yeah. everyone happy? Yeah. Okay, cool. See you in the morning, guys. Well done. Bye. See you later, guys. As you can probably hear, it's started to rain now. Um, it's pretty late. We can't leave them out in the rain. Safety must come first. So we're going to go up and get them, bring them down, um, bring them inside for the night, and then tomorrow we're going to get straight back out there and start again. So the reason me and Harry haven't got you, you can still see it's still raining, okay? So we couldn't leave you out in the rain all night, alright? Because you would have just got a little bit wet and then you would have got really, really cold, okay? So we had to come down here. Um, are you enjoying breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Who wishes they still stayed in the woods in the rain? Mm -hmm. Oh, I need you. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do today is um, we are going to go back out and we're going to do some more survival elements, okay?
I do pause and um, breakfast club and day camps. I come to the YMCA when I come down to with my cousins and I sometimes do day camp. I'm involved with the YMCA because my dad works as a volunteer here. I go, um, I go to the youth club on Fridays. So it'll be two weeks. It's about it's three days. The longest I've ever been away from my parents, I think, is about three weeks. I don't really like the outdoors. I, I do like them, but I just don't like sleeping in the outdoors. I'm really looking forward to sleeping in the woods because it's my first time. It'll be really good. I like being outdoors, I just don't like sleeping outdoors. The best thing at YMCA I've done and had is making new friends and making shelters for the first time, sleeping. It's all been exciting. I think the best thing at YMCA is that we play loads of games. It gives young people and families the opportunity that not, may, not many people can have. YMCA Somerset Coast is for young children who can come along and you can do camps and loads of activities. I think they care about all the children in the clubs. The children respect the clubs and I think they respect the, the adults for them for making the clubs. And YMCA is really fun because all of the staff make me laugh and are really funny. I bring a friend to the YMCA and I have made a couple of friends and the staff are really good because of they teach you loads of stuff and Ben's really nice and so is Harry. I've made a lot of friends at the YMCA. I've made loads of friends that all the, at the clubs that I've been to, to do with YMCA. The staff there, they've been really nice to me the whole entire time I've been there, and I've been there for about a year, and I've got loads more friends now. One of my friends is Archie, because we both like gymnastics, and it's really fun. And also, the staff, I think, are really fun, because they think of games to play. I think that YMCA staff um, are nice, they're very nice, and they're funny. I've made friends with Archie uh, and Charlie and everybody who came, so it's really good. I've met lots of friends here and I really like it because they trust us and, and we get to make fires. And I really do believe that everyone who came here today all the ones here, staff, if they've, if they've met them, believe in us all. I really think Ben and Harry and the rest of the YMCA really believe in us that we can like, do anything. Right, this is it now, we're at the end of an incredible three days. The young people have done so well. It's, I'm so happy with what they've done. It shows how amazing these young people can be just through a little bit less focus and structure than what you're used to. And as a youth worker, that's incredible for me. I'm gonna take that away. They've done amazing. I've been blown away with what these kids have achieved. They've uh, worked together as a team, they've shared all the key elements of survival and it just really shows through positive influence what young people are all about and how well they can do. I'm so impressed with what they've done. So it must be nearly time for, what? for us to go. For us to go now. The food was nice. The food was absolutely lovely. Okay. What's your favourite bit? Probably the music video. Probably, Probably, yeah. The, yeah. 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 Is that one of the worst things you've ever had with?
Yeah, it's one of the worst. No, one, the, one of the best. Last night was actually Actually, quite good. It was fun and all that. We just and it sounds the best. Thing. I like lighting the fires too. Surely it must be time to go in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Surely. Surely it must be time to go. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Are you excited to go home now? Yeah. Well, I want to stay. It would be fun to stay, night. but we're going I don't home. Okay, so it's just the end of the three days. They've completed the challenge. We've just about let them know. Go into the camp, get them all packed down, get them back down to the survivors' barbecue where they get to meet with their parents for the first time in three days. Let's see how they react when they tell them on radio. Okay, guys. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Over. Over. Okay, well oh, done. Nice. Challenge complete. What? Yes! Okay, let's go and see them. Guys, let's go, come on. Well done, guys. Congratulations. So, three days, how was it? Amazing. Hard. Hard. So, did you all have fun, though? Yeah. yeah. Did everyone get wet? Yes. Yeah, yeah everyone tired? Yes. Yeah. Okay, everyone ready to go home? Yeah. yeah. Right, so let's make sure we've got all our stuff. Got all, all you are already packed, we're ready to go. Yeah. So, let's get our bags to one side, because we need to return the nature to how it was, yes. don't we? Don't leave a footprint, so we need to get these shelters down. Can I, can I sure refer that... it? Yeah, you can refer it. Just be really no, careful, guys. Just get these shelters down. I'm going to leave. So guys, look, we got a little bit of a surprise for you, okay? So just down here, there might be a few people you know, all right? So we're just gonna walk down steady just till we get out of the woods, and then let's go see who we can see, all right? Should we go? Fun and guys. They said they lost you. Oh, look at your hair! Oh, <laughs> ben looks filthy enough, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> because he's really funny and he can do funny accents and Kevin because of his hair and his beard and Ben because his hair is really scruffy. Harry looks like Chewie and smells like a ferret. The staff there are really nice but some of them are very annoying aka Ben and Harry. 
Harry's head looks like a giant hamster. Harry looks like he's fallen out of an ugly, ugly tree and, and got run over by a bus. Signs women sees the time is ours now. The time is ours now. Make your rain over this drought. 